Happy Monday, hot listeners, or should I say, welcome back to the future. I'm Amy Holmes, bringing you some wild technology that can only be seen to be believed. It's been said, life imitates art. Well, now life is technology and the art, movies. Remember Michael J. Fox on his souped up skateboard? Well, my hot rodding, hot skating friends, the future has arrived. The hoverboard has arrived. This board has more technology within it than the satellites that we sent to space in 2010. I was in a dream, a real live dream. One of the greatest days of my life. I just want to say thank you so much for letting me be one of the first people to try this out, because this is amazing. I'm, I'm still in shock that, that I'm doing it, that I was here actually riding this thing. But it's not just fun and games that have caught up with cinematic imagination. We now live in the era of drones. We've been using weaponized drones to take out terrorists on foreign soil, but the question remains, should domestic law enforcement use drones to patrol our streets and even our backyards? Well, six states have already given the green light to testing drones over their cities. And as ominous as that sounds, drones could also have a commercial purpose. Amazon boasts that in the not too distant future, drones could be used for delivering packages. And in even more wild technology news, Eric Schmidt of Google told Glenn Beck that his company is working on a flying car. Have you ever encountered a product that slips? Oh, I know I, I'm still waiting for my flying car, <laughs> but... Well, we're actually working on that. We even have technology that can predict who's about to break the law in the style of Minority Report. Former Mayor Rudolph Giuliani used computer models to focus resources on certain crime zones to make New York more safe. But could it get even more personal? Sweep up innocent people's communications in the name of law enforcement? Well, we already have troubling indications that the answer is yes, in the form of metadata collection by the NSA. The spy agency is at work building a super bunker in the Utah desert to store untold and undisclosed amounts of electronic communications data. At 1 million square feet, we're looking at over 1,500 football fields where computers will collect and store information. Pretty scary stuff. But as with all new technology, it's the people, not the tool, we need to keep a close eye on, especially when it comes to government. Meanwhile, flying cars? Well, if that includes cabbies flying over New York City traffic, I'm in. But drones over my backyard equipped with cameras? Good thing I live in an apartment. It's a brave new world out there, people. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you, pulling down my blinds from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.